So today we are going to talk about how to build your own deck on top of your camper van. I am going to show you step by step exactly what tools you need, exactly what materials you need in order to do this. Take it from somebody who literally has no building experience, has no idea what she's doing, and I was able to make this happen. I just want to impart that wisdom onto you because most of the videos that I've seen and that are on YouTube get you part way there, but they leave out a lot of really pertinent information like how do you actually do this? And what materials do you need to use? And what are the tips and tricks so that you make sure that you are building the best, sturdiest, long-lasting deck for your van. And I cannot wait to show you the process. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. So even if you feel like this is so overwhelming and you don't know where to start, or if you could actually do it, if I can do it, you can do it. So follow along and I'm gonna show you exactly how. So first you wanna decide the length of your deck. I went with eight feet. So I grabbed 16 one by fours that are yellow pine. Now I would recommend cedar, but I was having a hard time finding it because it's more rot resistance. Next, you're gonna pick your stain. This is the one that I used and I just had to do one coat on each side. Then I went over and I did four coats of uh, this protectant sealant that you see here. And I chose to go with the maximum amount of coats because again, I used a wood that wasn't quite as weatherproof as cedar. Then I took this Smitty Built rain gutter clamps, which I ordered a six pack of those, and then I assembled them per factory instructions. And then it came time to put them onto my van, so I measured and spaced them apart and loosely attached them. And don't freak out if when you go to attach the gutter clamps, they are angled outward or inward. Once you start attaching everything, they'll sit upright. Then I took the aluminum tubes, which are one inch thick, and I placed them where they were going to go and marked where I was going to be cutting them. I ended up spacing my gutter clamps about 45 inches apart, which was which is definitely further apart than I would ever recommend and further than what was recommended to me to do. But this just means that I have to be careful about when and where I stand on my deck, but I wanted my deck to be eight feet and I only had six gutter clamps, so I made it work. Then I used a jigsaw with the blade for cutting metal and cut all the aluminum tubing to size. If you look there, there is just no clearance. So I'm hoping if I raise it, it'll raise it about half an inch and give me some space to put something underneath there. So I'm gonna have to go around and adjust the gutter clamps because the clearance on the roof is just not enough. So even though I already went and did all 12 screws, I'm gonna have to undo them all and redo them, which I think is just like what you do when you're building a van is that you do it once and then you do it two, three times until you get it right. But we persevere. I placed the aluminum tubes over the gutter clamps and I drilled with the proper drill bit. I used 3 8 inch hex screws, so I used a 3 8 inch drill bit. And I placed a plank of wood underneath it so that when the drill went through all the materials that it did not drill a hole in my van. So highly recommend that you make sure that you do that as well. Then I makeshift placed where the rubber stoppers would go and set out to place all my wood planks to see how they would fit, where they would fit, and get it all ready to go. And, and then I numbered all of the planks so that I would put them back in the same order because some of my planks were curved, which was not so great. Which again, in life, something's curved to the left, something's curved to the right, and that's okay, but you do not want curved wood. And so I highly recommend you do a better job than I did when picking out your wood because that makes it a little bit more complicated. I just drew lines on these middle boards so that I know where to cut so that there's space for the fan. And now I'm gonna label all the aluminum that I have across here so that I know how to put it back in the right position, but I'm gonna take it all down so that I can attach the rubber stoppers and then I get to reattach it maybe because I'm not quite sure with how flush this is to the center. I may not be able to install the wood planks while it is on, at least the middle pieces. We're, we're gonna figure it out as we go. We're gonna trial and error, baby. That's what it's all about. All right, so I have my quarter inch drill, my three quarter inch this thing, don't know what it's called, got my rubber stoppers, Stoppers. I drill with the quarter inch through there so that my quarter inch bolts will fit. I also have a thingamabob that fits this so that I will be able to tighten the nut into the recessed hole here so that it's nice and secure. Then after cutting these four middle pieces of wood, I got to work attaching the wood planks. You are always going to want to start on the middle and work your way out. This was recommended by the woman that I kind of consulted on this deck build who gave me a bunch of her pointers of how she built her deck. So I started with my four short planks and I got to drilling. Again, placing the wood block underneath so that I made sure I didn't drill into the roof of my van. Now it's recommended that you attach the aluminum tubing to the gutter clamps before 
starting this process, but because my tubes were so flush to the roof of my van, I had to loosely attach them and then unattach, reattach as I do each plank for about the first eight planks. But ideally, you have enough space underneath that you can attach those aluminum tubings before you do that. And yeah, wash, rinse, repeat. What you are going to do is recess the wood, and then you're gonna take your drill bit and drill through the wood and the aluminum simultaneously with the block underneath to protect your van. And then you are gonna take your hex nut, two washers, one on each side, and your stop nut, and you are going to take your wrench and your ratchet and make sure that you tighten that thing like nobody's business. So now I'm gonna attach the railing to my deck and I have these L brackets. So they're two and a half by five eighths, corner braces, I guess is what they called them. I just realized they are zinc plated, not stainless steel. I just went to the hardware store and they didn't have it in stainless steel. So I guess we are using zinc and we'll see how long it lasts. I'll probably need to replace it, but it is what it is. Everything else with my hardware is stainless steel and that is what I recommend, but we're going with zinc. Let's see what happens. And I'm using quarter inch bolts with a pretty bird. So that means quarter inch drill bit. This is going to be one size up. So this is 11 millimeters, which makes it so that it will fit around that head. And then I have the 11 millimeter. Still not entirely sure what this is called, but socket and wrench, wrench and socket. Yeah, it's something like that. Then I have stainless steel one and a half inch hex bolts and I have stainless steel washers and stainless steel stop nuts. Again, the stop nuts help resist them loosening with all the vibration that happens in the vehicle. So make sure you do it right. It was a lot easier to attach the railing to my deck with it off the van. Then unfortunately due to the logistical problem, I had to attach the other side while the board was attached to it already, which made it a little bit more complicated, but I was able to make it work. This was also where I discovered that I bought two separate sizes for my corner braces, which was fun. You know, I guess the whole idea behind this is letting go of the need to be perfect and being happy that you are able to just build a deck in the first place. We're Working with a Florida sunset in the background is not too shabby. When I first attached my gutter clamps, they were either tilting outward or tilting inward and I got super freaked out like what am I supposed to do? But when you attach the aluminum and screw it in and get everything tight, then you tighten the gutter clamps and then they go into the position that they are supposed to go in nice and straight. Also, I had excess aluminum like I wanted to make sure that I didn't have too little and that it was cut short, but don't do what I did because then you cannot access the screws to tighten it and it became very challenging to work around that. So try and cut it exact. Don't be like me and think, oh, I'll be smart and leave some excess. So in case you can't notice, these recessed holes look quite nice these ones not so much and that is because you need to recess the hole before you drill that is something that i did not realize until after i did about half the boards that it's going to look a lot cleaner if you do the recessing before you do the drilling the perfectionist in me had to let go a lot because i got these corner braces for this side and for this side and oh i got two different sizes and I just had to let it go. I also couldn't find stainless steel. I got zinc, so I would recommend that if you can find stainless steel, all my other hardware is stainless steel. I just couldn't find any at the hardware store for this, but stainless steel all the way when you can. Also, I was able to get some help from this awesome other van lifer. I will link her info in the video, but she gave me this great idea for these rubber stoppers, which are absolutely necessary in preventing the aluminum tubing from bending too much when there's pressure put on it. And ta-da! There she is. I am so proud of myself and so amazed at what I was able to build. Just wow. And it is currently way too windy to do a wrap up on top of the deck. You would not be able to hear me. And so there you have it. There's the deck. There is how you build a deck. If you have any questions at all, please let me know because it seemed really overwhelming at first when it came time to build this deck. But with the help of people who had gone before me, I was able to make something pretty freaking awesome. And I am so excited to get to enjoy all of the travels of the places that this van will take me and to have the deck to enjoy them on as well. As always, thank you 
you so much. Your likes, comments, subscriptions mean so much to me. And I hope that this inspires you, if you have a camper van, to know that you can build a deck too. Because trust me, I will say it again, if I can build a deck, anybody can build a deck. It is all possible. So safe and happy travels to everybody. And we'll see you for the next one.